like last of the summer land, isn't it? It's just like that. We're just missing uh, Compo, <laughs> or as his YouTube channel is, Gadget John Gadget on Tour. Gadget John on Tour. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Where is he at the moment? Uh, on a beach. Yeah, I think he's in prison actually. <laughs> oh boy, and this, this is, he's using old footage. Yeah, it's all, it's yeah. all a con. It's, um, he got done for trade descriptions, you know. Do you remember when he said this is the best camera in the world? Oh, oh, you mean um, that the, faulty one you've the, got? The, it's not faulty. I've got three of them, They're and, all they, faulty. And, and they they mostly don't crash. This is why we're not using yours at the moment. True, <laughs> true. We want a camera that we can depend on, which will be that one. So he got done for trade description, and he got put to prison. Yes. And then they've superimposed him onto the videos. You know what a gadget he is. Yeah, so yeah. Superimposed. Him. So it, that's really where he is. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> True, it's all true. It's all true, yeah. So, yeah, so don't believe the hype. Do, 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 do. Is that the theme? I think so, is it? Does look like I've got an that, headscarf on? That was... That could that, be Nora that, Batty. That sounded more like Black Beauty. All right, we could do that as well. Yeah. On our iron horses. Yeah. Yeah, my iron horse doesn't like water. This is the good thing about Yorkshire. It's the weather. You yeah. always rely on always, the weather. Yeah, and the weather forecasts that are really, really accurate. Yeah. But it's that particular nice rain that comes straight down. Yeah, not sideways, so yeah. a face on. There's no gaps in it. No, it's it's evenly spread. I mean, look at my legs, they're soaked. And maybe it's. Yeah. Although that wasn't the rain, <laughs> to be fair. Who's this Lorraine? Uh, the, the rain. Oh, right, sorry. It's my accent. Yeah, he's still, yeah, still getting used to it. It's like a foreign language to him. Well, we need to tell a bit of a story how we met. Yeah, and it, yeah, and, it, and there's no better place to do it than in the rain. In the rain. On a, on the side of a hill. On a hillside, <laughs> soaking wet feet. So about a year ago was it? No, it was longer than that. Was it was Ju July, I think, 2018. Um, urban stealth camper van man, Brett. Right. Yeah. He posted, he, he did a regular slot where he would introduce channels that he watched. And uh, one particular episode that he did, he introduced me and also Dave. Uh, he uh, re referred to you as Dangerous Dave. I don't know why. Uh, I'm quite, yeah. You know, I, don't, I don't tend to do anything dangerous. I just sit at home watch TV. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, and, maybe uh, have a chip now. The, and the, yeah, the occasional kayaking thing. I think your channel was mostly that at the time, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, a lot more of that. Yeah, a lot more of that and a lot less of sitting around on a cold, wet bench. Yeah, well, it's just nice. It's just yeah. a nice day. So, anyway. It's just like Yorkshire summer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but it's still quite nice for middle of January. Yeah, yeah. It's no snow yet. Not yet. So Brett did this shout out for both our channels. Yeah. <clears throat> so I started to follow Mevy's channel. And, and I started his, to follow him. And in his channel, he was saying that uh, what work he'd previously done, and that he was starting to run out of money, he wanted to get a job. Yeah. And I realised that he was living in East Yorkshire. Mm. So I thought, hmm, this is going to be a bit weird. So I sent him a message and I said, we're looking for a delivery officer for an organisation I run called Cat Zero. Mm. And what did you feel when you got that? Um, Who's this stalker? Well, <laughs> being new to the area, yeah. being geographically challenged, I'd only been, I've been to Hull a couple of times, but I didn't really know the area or what went on there. Uh, so I did a little bit of re research and the website uh, told me lots of stuff and I tried to absorb as much as I could, sent off my CV, because uh, previously I'd done a whole bunch of different stuff, the mental health worker, alcohol worker, criminal justice so it seemed a lot of my previous work experience would be transferable to cat zero so I sent off my CV it was all nicely done because I've been applying for other jobs in the NHS and other things like that um, and I got an invite Sean invited me in yeah because what I did I went back to my management group and I said I know we're looking for another delivery <laughs> officer and I'm a bit fanatical about getting people with the right personality because the work we do we try to engage with people and build a relationship with them and then push them to do things for themselves but also support them and being able to watch Mevy on his YouTube channel mm. he was he had the personality he had everything mm. but I didn't want to make the decision and I wouldn't be working with him and I wouldn't be managing him yeah so I went back to my management team and I says, I think I might have found a new delivery officer for us. He was like, oh, okay, what's his name? And I says, well, he's called Mevy. Uh, he's got another name, but he's called Mevy. 
all right does he live local so i will yeah he can do he lives in a van it's like what so i said i don't want to make any judgments <laughs> He's sending his CV in, you go and meet with him, throw him in with the groups of people we work with and see how he gets on. Yeah, so I went in to meet with Sean and it was the strangest interview. It wasn't really, it wasn't, uh, it, it, it didn't say that it was an interview, but I realised quite early on that I was being put through my paces, uh, less so about what I could do, but kind of, about me and trying to suss me out so he had me uh, trying to juggle um, uh, we went through kind of hypothetical scenarios and things just generally a bit of banter um, so there's not many interviews you go through where no. you're given some juggling balls and you're told to juggle no and that's part of it. it what it felt like what it felt like was an audition yeah yeah I suppose it is more of an audition yeah we, we spent a long time designing how we interview people yeah because you can have all the qualifications in the world mm. but if you haven't got the right skills to build that mm. relationship and to support people and these people we work with tell us their deepest darkest secrets mm. and they want somebody to be motivating and support them yeah and support them in a way that works for them yes yeah yeah, so it was quite interesting when we said, what do we do? <laughs> he lives in a van, what do we do as an address? And yeah. how do we uh, do his police care clearance or whatever it's called nowadays? Yeah, well, I was, I did have a legal address, which is really important if you're going to be living in a van anyway, because you can't that function in society if you don't have a, a legal address. So I did have a legal address, so that was okay. That could, that could all be sorted. But yes, living in a van is... Uh, I think Cat Zero had uh, made a, a leap of faith as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, we we got um, references from your previous employers, yeah. and we did all the police checking and everything mm. else. Yeah. But um, it, when maybe started to work with us, I didn't realise at the start of all. Obviously, he was living in his van near where we work at Hull Marina, and it was about mm. a week or so, or maybe even a month or so afterwards mm. that I said, Ah, why don't I give you our, my marina pass? And at the marina, there's showers, toilets, washing machines, and everything else. So the poor guy be living in his van with all these facilities there that we pay for as part of our mooring for our yacht, and that he could use. So he's set up. He actually he has this bizarre situation where you drive away from work to come to work, don't you? To come to work, yeah. That's so you right. park out the way during the day, mm. and, then and then on I, the night you come I, near I, the I marina. Come to, closer. Yeah. And use all the facilities. Yeah. And how long you work for us now? Um, well, I started mid-August, August the 14th, right, in okay. fact, right. and uh, tw uh, 2018, so uh, uh, September, October, November, December, yeah, a year and five months. Excellent. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Enjoying it? I love it. Yeah. Best job ever. Great. Great. Yeah. So, through YouTube, yeah. the power of YouTube <laughs> and Brett, yeah. Brett is now a consultant on recruiting staff. <laughs> <laughs> And if you haven't, if you've never checked Brett's channel out, he, he was getting loads of grief from somebody off social media, yeah. loads of bad comments. Yeah. He's a really funny guy. He lives in a mm. real small van and he has mm. a garage, which is his artist studio. And he does some fantastic artwork. Yeah. But check out his channel, the Urban Stealth Camper Van Man, Brett. Links below. Links below, yeah, wherever we yeah. put them. Yeah, because when he, when he made that video, I don't think he, he set out to do anything other than give recognition to other channels and give and some in entertainment. When he made that video, he probably didn't realise that he was going to be changing my life. And it was perfect timing, wasn't it? It was perfect. You were running out of money. I was, I was running on vapours. It was a case of, because my first month's wages paid for my insurance and tax on the van because I wasn't going to be able to cover that otherwise. And Brett's still doing the same sort of thing now. He's still watching YouTube during the day and doing shout-outs of various channels yeah. and bits and pieces. But it mm. just goes to show that you can get an employment when you're in a van. It can help you on social media yeah. to get a job. Yeah. And um, this was certainly worked out for you. And for mm. us, you know, maybe yeah. he's a great member of the team. Yeah, I, I, part of the family. Yeah. And then we take, yeah, the mad family. Mad family. Mad dysfunctional family. <laughs> And then for punishment, we take you out in lovely conditions like this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Soaking wet. <laughs> Cold, wet, out of breath. <laughs>